Got some cheap four-wheel drive RC trucks for us to check out today. The Blacks on Slider and Slider Turbo. I first saw these at the Nurse of Trade show where I demoed one out in a big lot with a bunch of other cars running around. And this thing got smashed by an HPI Vorza at like full throttle and it survived. And that, that impressed me guys. And then I started seeing these at local hobby shops and I figured, you know what? I gotta check them out. Black Sun actually has a bunch of different models. This is the stadium truck version. It's ready to run. It's 16 scale, comes with the battery and charger. Ooh, waterproof electronics like that. 2.4 gig radio and it's got LED lights guys. And they come in a bunch of different colors. So if red and green aren't your thing, there's orange and blue as well. But uh, there's two different styles of the slider, the turbo, is the brushless version and this one here is just a brush model i think they also have different batteries as well so that's what we're going to check out now let's see how it comes out of the box looks like some assembly is required but there's the truck looks like we got to put the wing on and maybe the decals here is the radio system there got that out so yeah there's the radio system it even has a foam wheel on it so that looks pretty good there's the spoiler i was telling you guys about it's got a usb wall charger and it even looks like i gotta install those lights so yeah some assemblies require let's see anything else nope nothing else in the box so let's get this one together that looks way better right guys and actually a bit bouncy let's get the turbo out of the box too There's the turbo all together, it looks pretty cool. And I noticed a couple changes in comparison to the brush model when I was putting it together. Uh, first up in the box, you're gonna get a wheelie bar, which is really cool. Uh, it replaces this rear skid and it's kind of cool that you have this as a spare just in case this breaks off or the little pin mount breaks, you have a spare for that. And then the radio system is actually different. So it's still a 2.4 gig radio system. Doesn't have the nice foam wheel like the brush model does, but it has a few extra trim functions on it, which can help out like steering dual rate. Now let's go over the differences between the two trucks themselves. Here's the brush and here is the turbo brushless version. This is $88, almost completely ready to run. You're gonna need some AA batteries for the radio system. This one here is $130. Again, they give you the battery packs and the USB chargers and the chassis and suspension setups look pretty much the same between the two. So we've got double wishbone suspension in the front, H arms in the rear with fixed upper links. They have just Friction shocks, actually there is no friction. They're just spring bouncers here. Look at this thing, guys. That's gonna be bouncing around as we drive it. Plastic shock towers, looks like everything's pretty much captured except for the steering links. Uh, those rear upper links, those are captured. So there's less chances of those things popping off. The chassis, these are plastic. A Little bit of a high ground clearance setup going on here. You can see the raised section. So that helps when you're driving over uneven ground. Upper chassis stiffeners on both. Uh, battery trays look the same between the two. Velcro strap to hold them down so if you want to get a higher capacity battery you're going to need something that's just a little bit taller steering system just a dual bell crank setup and it looks like they've got a built-in servo saver mounted to the servo then into the drive line so i noticed it has universals up front however these are composite and it's got composite out drives on the differentials it does have gear differentials they are all plastic from what i can tell i don't know what the internal gears are but the ring and pinion those are definitely plastic then in the rear which which tends to actually get a lot of stress. They have metal dog bones, so that's a bonus. I kind of wish they had metal dog bones up front, but maybe because of the steering angle, they opted not to use those there. My guess, they have an option for it. Let me know if you know down in the comments section below. I know this platform is shared with some other companies, some other brands. We're just talking about the Black Sound version here. And the reason why I decided to show these is because, again, I saw these in hobby shops, and it's really important that there is support for these beyond just you figuring out through mail order. If you could run down to your local hobby shop because they stock these and get help, that's a definite bonus. So definitely like supporting brands that support local hobby shops. Now into the electronics. So it looks like your basic standard servo here. At least it's a three wire. So if you ever need to upgrade it, that's an easy swap. It's got a two in one receiver speed controller combo. Looks like it just could handle 7.4 volt, but based on the sticker there. And so it's gonna handle this battery pack that's included. Let's pop this out. At least it's got a T plug on it. So this is a, it's upside down. So it's a 7.4 volt lie ion 800 milliamp pack. 
And uh, as you can see, it's got a little balance tap there. So it'll just plug right into that USB charger that they give you. Back to the motors. So you can see this is a brush version. Looks like a 370 size, just based on the long hand size. And then, oh, look at this. It's got a heat sink under the sticker. Don't, warning, don't hurt yourself, burn hazard. Now over to the brushless version. Uh, again, it's got a two in one setup. So this is your speed controller receiver combo. And it's showing 2S only on the decal there. So you can't run 3S in this, probably blows something up. There's your brushless motor and here is your battery pack. Again, 7.4 volt, 1000 milliamp on this one. That's got a nice carbon fiber label to it. And the same servo that we saw in the brush model. Now I'm going to charge these up so we can test them out. I'm going to take this one to the skate park and this one to the dirt lot. Here we go, RC drivers. The mini skate park should be perfect for this truck. Let's go have some fun. There's our top speed. Not too bad out of a 2S truck. Got some brake, almost did a nose wheelie. I don't know if it really needed that wheelie bar. I got it on there anyway. Like the little bounce out of the suspension. We'll see how it lands off of the jumps. And we should go right into the jump, right? Right into this big bump over here. Oh, wow. Not a lot of resistance to that suspension setup. Bouncing around, but I haven't rolled yet. That's good, right? Off the side, it's really bouncing around in the rear. Actually having a lot of fun with it. <laughs> Not really caring. I mean, this is a low budget car, so you kind of just bash on it, right? <laughs> the first bad landing. Look at this thing, though. If it wasn't for that bounce at the end, this thing would be pretty dialed, actually. I like the power in it. It's just right for its size. And this size skate park, too. Steering's good. It's actually holding pretty well. A little, little understeer there. Off the top. Landed it. Man, look at this. Yeah. I landed on power. Just kind of testing out the diffs and stuff, you know? It's gonna break, I'll let you know. And it's really cold out today, so if something's gonna break, it's gonna be today. Rad little truck. Just right. Simple, easy, fun. That's what it's all about here. All right, guys, time to get some wheel time in on the brush version. I got some high hopes for this one. Not bad on the jump. Fairly quick for a brush model. I mean, 7.4 volt Y ion pack. That's not too bad. Yeah. A little bouncy through the ripple section there. See, so just rip some donuts. There we go. I think this would be a blast for kids. Just quick enough to get some air, not quick enough to where you can break it. Well, I mean, it is 38 degrees out. That's like six degrees above freezing here. And these two trucks have put up with a lot. I've been running on that dirt pile too over there. Didn't make it up. <laughs> <laughs> Just quick turn around. I was like, nope, I'm not going to do that. There we go. Little wheel spin, little dirt in the air. That's what it's about. Do we do a backflip? No, we don't have the power to get up for a backflip. Here, this will be fun for the suspension. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, crash. I think you just rip on this thing full throttle with that heat sink on the motor non-stop. There we go. More donuts. Let's hit this jump one more time. Full throttle. There we go. Oh, look at this. There's some water. And I do recall seeing waterproof on the box. So we got to test it out. There it goes. All soaking wet. Nice. 
<laughs> that looks pretty cool going through the water. Rate the splash factor of the slider in the comments below. Looking good. While well, I was out running the trucks, the temperature was dropping and it actually started snowing for a little bit, but I got these things speed tested. The brushless version goes 19 miles an hour and the brush version goes 15 miles an hour. Not too bad, not too bad for a 2S truck over here. And uh, runtime wise, I got about 11 minutes of runtime out of this. I think you're gonna get between 10 and 12, depending on how you run it, the type of surface you run on. And uh, it just got too cold for me to run this one, but probably similar runtime, I would imagine. These trucks were a lot of fun. I mean, they're cheapy trucks and they took a lot of abuse. Over at the skate park, had some pretty hard hits. And then when I was doing the time testing with this one, uh, hit the tire on my Jeep, hit a rock wall in my front yard, went through the grass, actually hit a light pole too, and it's just fine. And for freezing temperatures, I'm good with that. that that's pretty impressive to me. And I looked on the HRP website, they have all the parts there, which is really important, and that's key. And like I said, uh, you'll be able to pick these up at your local hobby shop that deals with HRP here in the US. And I'm sure you could find other versions out there of this if you're, you're overseas. But anyway, it's a fun truck to drive. I think this is gonna be great for younger people, people getting into RC. This one, you know, if you need a little bit more speed, it's a great option too. Uh, even the motor, the motor wasn't too hot when I was done. And uh, I did have a correction for you on this one. This is a 390 size motor. But definitely check these out for a fun, cheap RC thrill.